Well, welcome back, Prim friends. I know we had just done a video here in my booth inside Seville Antiques, but just like that, some things can really change. And I was blessed to be invited to an estate sale that um, had some really remarkable pieces. And uh, so I wanted to let you know what is here in Seville Antiques in my booths at Tweed Thistle Primitives. And this is located at 14 Milton Street, Seville, Ohio. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about some of these pieces. Now, I have them really well priced. And so I know that some of the dealers may even be interested in some of these pieces. Um, I've had several... Uh, I've had several people already commenting on some of these unique pieces. So I will, if, if you email me, that's the best way to reach me, G-I-G-I-4224 at yahoo.com. I'll put that on the screen, that time, date stamps it. Because um, again, these are some really, some really pretty special pieces. So um, this pie safe, um, I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I'll, I'll just say where this came from. So if you are familiar, there is a folk artist that was very well known several years back. Her name was Jill Reese. She did amazing theorem paintings, amazing um, paintings, portrait paintings in that early American, early, early style. In fact, um, her home where a lot of these pieces have come from um, was featured in Country Almanac. I think it was a spring edition. I'll put it on the screen for sure which one that is. It's a 1987 edition. This pie safe, we've tried to do some research. I have seen reproduction tins that are similar in the styling, but these are not reproductions. These are the real deal. This is an absolutely gorgeous pie safe. Two drawers at the top. And the punch tin portion, they resemble what I think they look like butterflies. But they are just absolutely amazing it is such a beautiful piece so I'll go around and kind of show you some of the things too I've got several um, early stoneware bottles that would have been like beer bottles from uh, Glasgow Scotland they are stamped on the back some of two of them say Campbellfield Glasgow and the other one I think it says perhaps Murray but a little research on that says that that date would be from 1868 to 1897. So there are three of those, and I have $38 on each of those. The baskets also from the same estate. Uh, these are This one here is $42. There's a little condition issue with that one. This one is $54, just beautiful baskets. The small sofa, we've had so much attention on this here today. People are going home to measure quick. Um, this is from the Seraph. Just a beautiful, very, very clean piece and a wonderful color. But, um, so I'm trying to go around and catch the new pieces here that all came from this estate. This is a lovely lantern and I haven't looked completely over the whole thing, but some of the pieces of glass are the old wavy glass. Now, there are some breaks. So the corner on that one, and I think the upper corner on one of these is also broken um, of the glass, but they are the old wavy glass, at least in part of it. And then this needs to be reattached right here. So. I have 115 on that beautiful lantern. I'm trying to see all the new pieces to show you here since the last um, since the last video. This beautiful single drawer table is new in the shop from there as well. 
that I just brought in. Again, if you have interest, you are local, I would get here quick because I have these very well priced for what they are and, and where they have come from. The plank chairs, those are in a mustard pa uh, paint. Those came from her place as well. Those are $44 for the pair. That stunning tall back dry sink is, it's an old one. The paint may be new, but it is square nailed. It is a beautiful early piece. Not to be missed. Again, the pie safe, if I had a place for it, that would be coming home with me. But I just, I just can't quite, I'm going to regret it. That's going to be a piece I will regret letting go, I would imagine. But if you have the perfect spot for it, let me know. Send me an email. We don't ship unless you do that you know, yourself normally that you buy things to ship and you have a shipper, let me know and um, perhaps we can work that out. More baskets here. Um, here's a beautiful early one that came from there. This nice small one came from there as well. I have $64 on each of these baskets. Here's a little one. This is painted. Um, it is lovely. I cannot, I don't think this is old unless they took an old basket and painted it. So that is available. This beautiful table, another gorgeous one. Gorgeous turned legs. I think that is a federal table. The single drawer, just a stunning piece of furniture. Also from that estate, the antiques sign from there. This lovely bucket bench, also from there, a couple crocs, um, another basket here. So basically what I'm saying is everything has changed. All new, lots of wonderful new pieces here in the shop. And that's just me. So our dealers, more than 30 dealers here in the shop, if you haven't been in a while, come on back. Um, things are changing around, selling and new pieces coming in all the time. So definitely worth coming in to check it out. This little um, candle, it does have the push up. It does have the finger holder right there. The round um, attachment there in the bottom. And I have $42 on that one. These two little lights or sconces also, $35 on the pair. Those are nice and heavy. Oh, this light fixture here. Let me show you this one. Here's a cat. I think they call those a cat face um, or cat head basket. That is painted. A little bit of condition issues on that. I have 32 on that one. Baskets are a little hard to, to ship. Sometimes people are surprised by the cost, but it's really, you know... Yeah, it's lightweight, but it's the size. You know, you have to make room for that handle in there, too. So, And then this beautiful hanging, I think a kerosene light in the tin at the bottom. The glass of this part is broken. But just an absolutely beautiful piece. So yeah, I think that is, uh, there's a, um, a bucket basket there in that rocking, beautiful rocking chair. So if you have some questions for me, some things that you are interested in, best way to reach me is on that email address. And if you have room for an absolutely stunning pie safe, this is one not to be missed again. This was on the cover of Country Almanac in 1987. This lady had exquisite taste and she bought beautiful, beautiful pieces. 
So I hope you enjoyed this little tour again, the, the overhaul in the shop. Um, hope you'll come and visit Seville Antiques. If you haven't in a while, or if you have, come back because look at how quick, in a couple of days, things can change just like that. So take care, everyone. I hope that you will hit that share button. That is the very best thing that you can do for our little channel to help this style of decorating grow across our country and actually kind of across the world. We have people from all over the world watching these videos. So take care and we will see you in the next one and happy prim searching. They are out there. They are just waiting for you to find them and bring them home. Take care.